Good evening. Do you like the new James Bond opening to the show? Just like Bond, I could have gone for a helicopter or a jet ski, but I went for Shanks Pony. And this is where it all happens. Yes, it's the studio. Bunce is boxing out in 2013, the home of boxing, the channel of champions. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the main event of the evening, live and exclusive on Britain's new home of boxing, Box Nation. The, the real first guest of 2013 didn't have a Christmas, he was boxing. It's a delight and a pleasure to welcome back to my sofa. And I need hallelujahs, I need full singing fireworks here for Ashley Fearfame, please. Hallelujah. That's not bad. Hallelujah. Ash, thanks for coming in. Thanks for not dropping off like Chris Keane has. Chris will be back on the puzzle. Ash, uh, first yeah. of all, um, I had a nice Christmas, yeah. as did the rest of the nation. Indeed. And you suddenly showed up somewhere, Luxembourg, if I'm not yeah. mistaken, yeah. Uh, fighting for a title of some description. First of all, yeah. don't just laugh. Tell me how it came about. Well, you know, uh, I think everyone knows about, about, about the situation on Hatton, um, the Hatton promotions when Ricky Hatton when fought. Ricky had because I was fight. supposed to be part of the bill. I didn't fight on that show. So, um, you know, I was fit. I wanted, I wanted to fight. So my team, you know, we made some calls. We found out that there was a show in Luxembourg. On the 28th? The 28th. I had, I had to think about it because, you know, the Christmas time and all yeah. that, that. So I had to miss out on the mince pies. But um, I thought, you know what? I want to fight because I was fit. So I just stayed in the gym for, like, another month. And, you know... We... When did you travel out? Because I'm assuming you can't travel out on Christmas Day. Yeah. So when did you travel out? Before Christmas Eve or...? No, we went on the Thursday. We went on the Thursday, so... 27th straight... Yeah, or whatever. yeah. So we went on the Thursday. That was that was the way in. So we got there for midday, I think. Mm. And, you know, um, yeah. Well, did I, did I read somewhere that it was meant to be a light middleweight title fight, which would have meant that you didn't have to miss out on the on, on the mince yeah, pies? Did, yeah, did I read well, that first? Yeah, because it's supposed to be um, for, like, for the IBO international yeah. type title, but then the IBO wasn't there in the end, so it got so changed global, to yeah, the global one. Doesn't matter, it was a fight. Yeah, yeah, it was a fight. It was about a fight. It didn't matter about, about the cham the championship, whatever it was. And you got it. You did, so you did actually get a belt for Christmas? I got a least. belt. I got a belt, so, you know, <laughs> it's all good. But, you know, I like those trips, Steve, all over the place. You, you know, I, this I, is I, the thing. Yeah. You do like those, don't you? You've got that I sort do. of itinerant in you, haven't you? Yeah. Dem uh, the Germany, obviously. The St. Uh, Lucia. America. The St. Lucia thing, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's where my father's from. So it's nice to fight from. Oh, was that like a? Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Yeah, that yeah, fight yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you should have got family in St. Lucia. Yes, yeah, so I've got family there. So right, they so. did they come out when you? Brought? Yeah, a lot of them came. There oh, was five thousand cool. people there. No in, way. Like the cricket ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sure. it, was a, it was a big show up because Andre Ward, he was the main event. So it was a big show, like showtime thing. It was, it was in America. And how did so, it was cool. so Andre Ward was there? Or was no, no, in? he was the main event. Oh, so he was, and I was part of the card. Part of the undercard. Because they wanted a local boy there. Yeah. You know, we, we had Jane Couch on that yeah. sofa yeah. before Christmas and she had a fight in Jamaica, Montego okay, Bay, okay. against um, nice. against a Tim Witherspoon's sister-in-law. Oh. And that was actually on the beach oh. at Montego Bay. So at least she was nice in the proper one. stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was a nice trip there and it was a big, it was a big show. It was televised in America. Oh. So it was a nice, nice show. But you have to remember, Steve, a lot of the old guys, Willie Pep, the Henry Armstrongs, even Arlie, a lot of them fought all and all yeah, over the world. Took so, off. Yeah, indeed. So um, I like to go now, with that. You mentioned there, I mean, I know you were sort of joking about having mince pies. Weight-wise, yeah. that was a welterweight fight. Obviously, yeah, last yeah. year you lost your British light welterweight yeah, title. Yeah, yeah. What, what, where, are you in the, where are you in the first six months of 2013? What weight, actually, in an ideal world? I'm like, Ideal a, I'm like 11 stones now, like okay. around that, and I rather fight at like well to wait because there's still like you can still do that. Can't yeah, it, I, I can still, yeah, I can still make it. You know, we're getting older, but I can still make it. And um, there's fighters who are, like you got Ken the Holt there, yeah. there's Lament Peterson, so there's fighters that I want to yeah. fight. So, if, if, it's, it's interesting that Ken you mentioned the Lamont Peterson because they just yeah. announced the purse for that yeah, fight. Yeah, and yeah. He, and uh, Lamont Peterson obviously beat Amir Khan, yeah. then he fouled that drugs test. Yeah. Um, lost the WBA version. Didn't they kept the IBF? Yeah, they let him have IBF it. So he's defending against Kendall Hull, yeah. bit of a sort of local sort of yeah. East Coast thing. Uh, but they, he's only he's only getting thirty seven thousand 
US uh, dollars. I know, that's what they said. But I think the promoter of the show said what he bid, he's going to give them twice as much Double as whatever. It. Yeah, so that Double. was just to get to win the bid or whatever. Let, 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 let's hope so, the promoter sells in, some tickets. Indeed, Otherwise, indeed, there'll indeed, be 37,000 yeah. or less <laughs> coming his way. Indeed. Anyway, Ashley's going to be all cool. like, yeah, Ash, yeah. sit yourself down there and come. I'll get some mince pies for Ash if we can, because now he can celebrate a little bit since he's picked up another belt. He's fought for some belts, and he has, <laughs> as Ashley correctly said, he has been on the road. Now, a few moments ago... Oh, yes, welcome back. Now, before we went away for our Christmas turkeys and mince pies, or not obviously Ashley, because he was training for a fight in Luxembourg, but the rest of us went away for our festive break. Um, we had a phone-in show here. We broke ground. We set the agenda for others to follow. We had, we had I calculate, over a 1,000 unique contacts in a two-hour period. It was absolutely fantastic, including a geezer, that had had 14 heart attacks. And I did ask him if he had a dog called Lucky, and he said no, but he might get one for Christmas. You never know, do you? Anyway, he was great. The phone-in was fantastic. And I had a couple of quizzes going on. One guy managed to win the book up in Scotland. Andy, he's been sent a copy of my book for guessing that the picture competition was actually a guy called Frankie Lucas, one of the great forgotten fighters from the 70s. Now, the other competition was for what would be my round of the year. The answer to that will be coming up a bit later in the show, including I'll name the guy who won it, and he gets two ringside seats for one of our shows coming up in the next few months. However, most of you, in fact, many of you went for this round, and you know what? It was close in my head. This round was brilliant. We go into the final round. And Roberto trying to win all these rounds with his back to the ropes and then trying to toy with Guerrero. Are the judges going to give him all the rounds that we're seeing? That's another question. It's another big question because they've been right over judges on uh, several different occasions. And of course, when we can't see something, if the referee gets in the way or the ropes block it, we can glance down to our monitors and see what's happening. The judges can't do that. But, you know, Guerrero is going to fight this round like he's fought the last three or four rounds. And he, Therefore, I don't think he's going to win the round. And as he catches this guy, but again, it was a hard, chopping left hand. Berto's still very dangerous. Guerrero's in great shape and throwing everything he's got, but he's got to get this guy off it. This is something else. Look at Guerrero. Back and forth it goes. Now Guerrero starts landing some shots. Missing is Andre Berto. Guerrero needs to get himself some punching room, but he won't do it. He's a warrior. And he's just saying, I'm going to give it all I've got and let the best man win. Man, this is some fight. I wouldn't mind seeing it again, Dave. Me uh -huh. I tell you what, it, yeah, there will be a different storyline for that one. I mean, here, you've got the quick start by Guerrero, which is going to hang over whatever we hear in terms of the judges. When will the judges believe that Berto began his move? That will be the judicial story of this fight. Yeah, I think we picked it up right away, especially when we said these rounds are too close for call. Past the halfway mark now in the final round. Look at these two warriors battle. Oh, look at Berto right back with these shots. He's got that uh, left ear covered now. Watch for the uppercut of the right hand. Almost falling through the ropes is uh, Robert Guerrero. He gets in front of him. The ghost has had it tough for the last few rounds, but he is in some kind of physical shape. Now he gets some punching room. When he gets punching room, he's much more successful. Both guys' face are beat up. Both guys have had blood on their face. Now they're in the center of the ring, but it's in the same position for the ghost. And Brittle takes advantage of it. Look at this. Both of them are going out on their shields. They're not going to leave anything for the 31st second coming up. They're going down 26, 25, 24. Guerrero's not going to have anything left in the next uh, 15 seconds. And Andre, wow, he still looks strong and he still looks dangerous and he's gas too. The fight's almost over. It has been some more. Here's Berto trying to finish strong and trying to dump this guy. Instead, he almost gets dumped. Wow! They keep going. The fight's over. 
Whew. Well, that wasn't the winner. I think that was a better round, but the key was what was my favourite round of the year. So the answer and the name of the winner uh, will be coming up a little later in the show. A memorable night that, uh, obviously that was the night you were meant to fight, yeah. but didn't. Mm. Um, I'm not sure when you got to see that last round, but yeah. um, as someone pointed out just there, I think there was only one good eye yeah. between the two of them at yeah. the end. Yeah. It was fairly savage, that, wasn't it? Well, that's what, you know, that's what, as boxers, as fans, this is what we want to see, the best, just boxing the best. And, uh, you know, it was a great, great fight because both of the fighters just laid it on the line and it was en entertaining. Do, do you think that it was an added incentive? Well, not think, it's a, it's a no-brainer. A yeah. bit of an added incentive. They knew that the winner, if he was in a good fight, yeah. always stood a chance of hitting the pay dirt, hitting the National Bank of Mayweather, because that was an option for the winner. Of course, if you, if you see the last guy who I'm um, beat, Umberto, he fought F of Floyd course. with yeah. all with, like, with all tees. Yeah. So I think Robert is um the next in line. He's had a great fight there. Floyd would like would have seen that he's Mexican as well. Mm. So um you know and he likes that little bit. Yeah, of mix, yeah, because that makes money for it. Yeah, he does. Yeah, and he's also I think he's always got that sort of Castillo thing hanging over his yeah, head yeah, from yeah, those yeah. years ago. He's got it again. So the he, Mexican. he wants to get the Mexican. Yeah. 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 Um, Guerrero's style, strength, power, the fact that Floyd got caught a lot more by Cotto. Yeah. Do you give Guerrero a, a, more of a chance than maybe some of the opponents in the past? Or a chance even, Ash? I think if you look at this fight with um, the Berto guy, um, he stood there and he tra trained with him. He was there to fight, him. yeah. And that, no, but I think Floyd is starting to do that more. So I think he will stand there and trade with him. So I think it will be a good fight. Mm. And um, I don't know if I give him a, a better chance, but it'll be an it'll be entertaining good. fight. Yeah. And, that's, and, that, and that is what we want to see as good at, at, an entertaining fight. Because we saw that with Cotto, didn't yeah. we? In those, in those certain yeah. rounds, when he, when, when, when he second-guessed what Mayville was doing, yeah. and Cotto moved his feet yeah. into place. I mean, he shipped some good shots it's in that fight. fight. It, was it was a beautiful fight. It was a beautiful fight. Yeah, indeed, indeed. You know what? It was a beautiful yeah. fight, and that's the best way possibly to describe that Cotto and Mayweather fight, and hopefully Guerrero and Mayweather, which uh, we'll bring to you, uh, hopefully, here on Box Nation. Not hopefully, we'll win that one. Trust me now. Ash, uh, Broner, yeah. um, he's done everything right so far. Is that yeah. a fair comment? Yeah, I, think, I think he's a young, um, talented boxer, and he seems to have, you know, to be the future of, hmm. of like, boxing, the future star. Do, do, do you think, I mean, looking at the way he fought a couple of years ago, yeah. there was always a bit of Floyd about him, but yeah. the last couple of fights, it's yeah. almost like he's 100% mimicking the he way look, Floyd He looks sights. like a mini Floyd when yeah. you see him box. You know, um, I don't think it's always good to try and copy another boxer, but but you can take little things take off fit, him. Because that's always yeah. happened if you see yeah. Harley, Sugar Ray Leonard. You always got a guy Dick who in, you look at, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, you know, we see. The bigger the fights get, he's going to lose. He's not going to go and get it all the way that Floyd has. Yeah. So he, he is going to lose. It's just when. And, and, and Gavin Reese, um, the season yeah. guy, you know, light world to yeah. world champion, yeah, yeah, beaten yeah, by, yeah. that was a good win, let's yeah. get it right. Yeah. Lost to Katelnik, his yeah. only defeat. Uh, went through prize fighters, some decent yeah. fighters yeah. on that particular occasion. Lightweight champion. Um He's not. He's only 32. He's had an yeah. up and down career yeah. In, yeah. In, in many ways. Should you give him a, a half a chance, a bit of a shake? I think if you look at his um, record, he's got he's got a great record. He's fought a lot of the best British boxers. He's been a world champ, European champ, British champ. I think he's done it all. Um, I think he's got a chance. I think the way to be um, Brona is um, to be busy. Yeah. And if Gavin, but not reckless, that's the kicker. Isn't but if it? Gavin's anything, is busy. And yeah. I think if he's busy and he's strong enough, he went up to light water weight and yeah, he's done all right there. So um, you know, he's got a chance. It's up to him, like what they do, you know. So I'm gonna, I'm looking forward to it. And just before we move on, uh, yeah. and I'm gonna ask you this. I know you've been in Ricky Burns' oh, camp yeah, yeah, yeah. in the past. Yeah. Um, yeah. This fight was offered, we're told, to yeah. Ricky, and we're told for a variety of reasons it, it yeah. didn't happen. Can you yeah. give us any insight? Well, you know, at the same time, because Ricky Burns is a world champ and he don't have to dance to Adrian Brogner's tune, so he has his own plan and he wants to have a fight first and then maybe it might like go on the May 4th show. You never know. Because it's never as black and white as there wasn't enough of money. Course, I'm not buying that. It's never that black and white. 
Yeah, you know, because Ricky wants the big fights. He's told he's told me that he wants to fight in America and he would love to, have to fight him. I think he's got a chance against him. Mm. So, you know, I, I hope it's it happens. It's I hope it happens. Yeah. Ash, thanks very much. Ashley yeah. Fear fighting here. Dion Juma's warm.